Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kodiak here, back for another Grounded Survival Guide video, and today I want to talk about my favorite and some of the best spots, in my opinion, to build the base. Now this first one I want to talk about is over by the Great Oak Tree. There are so many resources around here. This is actually right by the Welp Flavor Drink, which is a great place to build. If you like to build inside of a can, that's a cool place to build. There's also a juice box close by, and of course the Rose Bush. Now the Rose Bush is going to eventually have bees. We've seen it in the trailer. So having a base of operations close by the Oak Tree where the Burgle Lab is and the Rose Bush is going to put you in a really great position for future content in the game. I'm also fairly certain that there will be some sort of water content in the game and we're very close to the pond in this location so it makes it overall great. What I like about this spot is that it's elevated. It's away from the ground and if you've watched any of our other videos you'll know that being above ground is the safest place to be in this game. Now we are along one of the log fence lines which is a home to spiders and some other nasty critters but because we're elevated we don't have to worry about that. Now you can build anywhere you really want in this general area. I just did a quick little base up on top of that log. It actually extends down and around a couple posts but I do think this is a really great place to set up shop and build a base of operations. You're by key story content you're potentially by future story content, and you have a wide variety of resources at your disposal right out the front door. All right, guys, so this second spot is one of my favorite in the game. I've seen a number of people in the community already build here. I think it's fantastic. It's such a cool spot to build the base, well away from the insects that could kill you, and it's in one of the ponds. Now you can create sort of a floating structure using the scaffolding system and the floor system. You will need to unlock the advanced building from Burgle, or you could just do this in creative mode if you want. We know there is a lot more content coming in Grounded and it will definitely revolve around this pond. There's flowers over there, we know bees are coming, and this pond is empty right now. There's no frogs, there's no fish. We know that there is something that's going to happen over by the pond. So you're already in a great spot for story content. There are also plenty of resources over by the pond. You're not gonna have to worry about bugs invading you on the pond, but you are going to have to take on a few spiders. There's occasionally a ladybug or two, but you're nearby a ton of good resources. All the resources near the oak tree, all of the resources near the flower beds, you have 99% of what you need to create a fantastic base over by the pod and you're in fantastic position for future content in the game. All right guys, so this next spot is in the northwestern part of the map and I think it's a really underutilized area. If you like size, if you want a big platform to build on, this is the place for you. There is a fantastic flat rock up in this area and you can build a massive structure. I'm not a great builder, but as you can see, I have a big base here. You could do so much with this space. You are elevated off the ground away from bugs. That's obviously point number one. But point number two is you are right outside of key resources. It's not like you're elevated so far up that you have to go leaps and bounds to get to the ground and get resources. No, a few steps and you're on the ground and ready to start harvesting or doing whatever project you're working on. This is a fantastic place because it also allows you to expand. Obviously, you can do whatever you want in creative mode, but if you're in survival mode, you can start small on this rock and slowly expand it. This is probably going to be where I set up my base of operations for our upcoming gameplay series because it's a fantastic foundation for everything else. Yes, there are spiders around. Yes, there are some other nasty creatures right around the corner in the haze zone, but this is one of the best spots if you like building, if you like expanding, and if you want something big, this is where you need to be. Of course, it's also close to story content and future story content being near the haze, being near the haze science lab. This is going to be a fantastic spot if you wanna progress further once the story gets expanded. So this is in the northwestern part of the map. I'm gonna call it the giant rock, if you will, but yes, a fantastic place to build in Grounded. All right, for this next one, I wanna take you to the opposite side of the map over by the hedgerows in the southeastern quadrant of the game. Now, this is a really cool location for a few different reasons. One, you can get up on the stone wall. The stone wall is gonna give you that protection from anything on the ground. Nothing will get up on this stone wall, especially at the corner where we built this base. Now, of course, you're gonna be right by all of the berries, which is a huge plus. You'll be able to collect those berry chunks, make the ladybug armor, no problem whatsoever. You're also by some of the water elements in the game, the sprinklers, the swamp, if you will. There's plenty of diverse creatures and resources in the swamp that you can collect, so it makes for an interesting base of operation. Now, one of the challenges of this location is that you are away from some key resources like the oak tree, acorn, sap, dry grass. Those are not in abundance over on this section of the map, but you do have access to a lot of resources over here as well. You've got gnats, you've got berries, you've got spiders. 
you do have a lot of really interesting things over in this corner of the game. And most likely, the story content will take us over this way. If you've been this way, you know that there is a surprise in the hedgerow. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but there is something over here in the hedgerow that will most likely tie to the next portion of the game's story. So having some sort of base over here is fantastic. Who knows, someday maybe in the future you'll be able to fast travel between your locations without having to run across the backyard, or perhaps you'll get some sort of flying mount, who knows, but at least if you have something over here, you're ready to go when the story continues to evolve in the next expansion. So this last location may look familiar, but there is a slight twist to this one. We are on the fence post on the other side of the yard. If you'll notice, we are actually in the northeastern part of the map, and the reason for that is really simple. We want to be towards more of the spiders and bombardier beetles that are congregated in this corner of the map. This is actually a very infested part of the map. I think on some occasions you'll find up to four spiders, two or three bombardier beetles, and if you're playing in anything other than creative mode, that is a really important resource to be near. Now, of course, we are elevated. That is a key to building any base in this game. You want to stay elevated as much as possible. We've got this great flat rock in the front that we can utilize. Of course, we've got all of the logs from the fence. And then we've got all those key resources, the spiders, the mushrooms. We've got clovers. We've got grass, pretty much everything. And we're not too far away from the oak tree. So if we do want to get to the oak tree, it's only a short run away. Now, this is also a great place to build if you're interested in the story content. We've got the rose bush right behind us. We know that bees are going to be added sooner rather than later. We've got the entire pond right next to us, access to flowers. We know that there is something that's going to happen in that pond at some point. And like I said, we're not too far away from the oak tree. So if we do need to visit the oak tree, go to Burgle, we can do that really easily. This is one of my favorite spots to build in the game. You could argue it's the best, it's not the best, doesn't really matter, but it is a fantastic spot to build. Even if you're just playing in creative, it's a lot of fun to use the different elevations to create something really unique. And there you have it, folks, our favorite, and we think the best spots to build in Grounded. Obviously, we know that there is no one right place to build, so if you have any ideas or want to share your favorite locations with us, leave them in the comments section below, or join us on Discord, share us a picture of your base, and let us know your favorite spot to build in the backyard. My name is Kodiak, and on behalf of Livid and myself, thanks for watching, and play on.